Hi guys, and welcome to this presentation. I'm Anthony, and today I will guide you through the grand reveal of our SoccerNet 2024 challenges. Each year, our SoccerNet challenges are a great opportunity for you to compete on computer vision and artificial intelligence tasks related to sports. Now, whether you are a seasoned competitor or a first-time contender, this video will give you all the information you need to get started. This year, we've got brand new data and challenges to push the boundaries of sports video analysis. Are you ready to showcase your skills and compete with the brightest minds in the field? If so, let's dive into the heart of SoccerNet. All right, before we reveal the new task for this year, let me give you a short reminder on our SoccerNet challenges. We organize this competition every year with the aim to gather researchers in computer vision, artificial intelligence, and sports analytics towards a common objective. Our goal is to push the boundaries of research in sports by proposing interesting tasks to solve. To support this effort, we gather data in large amounts and manually annotate them with many information that we publicly release. We then properly define the task to solve by specifying what are the input modalities that you can use, so for instance, videos, images, audio, or text, and what is the expected output, so for instance, bounding boxes of players propagated through time for the tracking task. What comes in between, the method, is up to you. You can be as creative as you want to solve the task. The team arriving at the top of the leaderboard is declared the winner. For each challenge, our sponsor offers some prize money to the winners, but there's more. The winners also get a chance to present a short video of their method at the prestigious CV Sports Workshop during CVPR. The challenges start right now and are open until the end of May. For you to get started easily, we provide a GitHub repository for each task containing all the code you need to get started. This includes how to download and read the data and how to format and evaluate the predictions of your models. Finally, this is also where you can find the official rules of the challenge, such as a description of the ranking metric for the leaderboard or the prize for winning the challenge. So after the video, don't hesitate to check out the repositories in the description below. All right, it's now time to dive into the task for this year's edition. We are proposing four challenges in total, including two brand new tasks. So let's start with the first novel task presented by our new collaborator, Jan Held. Hello guys, my name is Jan, and today I will present the Multiview Foul Recognition Challenge, also called MV Foul. I'm a football referee for seven years and have more than 300 games of experience. Most of the time being a referee is a lot of fun, but from time to time, even I take decisions which is completely false and everybody is shouting at me. In these moments, I just wish that there would be a video assistant referee in my league which could tell me the correct decision. However, this is not possible because it is too expensive and because of the worldwide lack of referees. That's why we created the MV Foul Recognition Challenge to build a virtual assistant that could, maybe, one day support referees. In this first edition of the MV Foul Recognition Challenge, we propose a multi-label video recognition task. In this task, you will be presented with a set of actions captured from multiple points of views. From this multi-view data, you have to determine a first label, if it is a foul or not, and the corresponding severity and a second label characterizing the type of action. For the first label, you have four classes. No offense, offense and no card, offense and yellow card, or offense and red card. For the second label, you have eight classes. Standing tackling, tackling, holding, pushing, challenge, a dive, a high leg, or elbowing. The full description and some examples of those classes are available on our GitHub. So make sure to check out in the description below. To train and evaluate your model, we have built a dataset containing almost 4,000 multi-view actions. Furthermore, we have implemented a first baseline, which we presented in our VARS paper, also available in the description below. Make sure to have a look to have a first idea on how to solve the task. So if you have ever wanted to know what it is to be a referee and win some prize money, then join us on this new multi-view foul recognition challenge. Thank you, Jan. 
Next up is Silvio, who will be presenting the second task that you already know from last year. Hi everyone, here I am. I am excited to talk about the second editions of our dance video captioning challenge. This task consists in finding the main actions of a game, localize them temporarily, and provide a highly descriptive textual commentaries of these actions. It is basically an action spotting task for the main actions described with an open vocabulary. As a reminder, we're providing 37,000 annotations for almost all of the 500 games from the original SoccerNet dataset. The challenge are twofold. First, understanding what are the main actions of the game, and second, describing them with a rich vocabulary. Now, you might ask, why is this important? Picture this, an AI that can provide real-time engaging commentaries for any football match. The possibilities are endless, and the highlights we gain could revolutionize how we combine vision and language in broadcast understanding. So who's ready to push the boundaries of what's possible? Whether you're a football fan or an expert in language model, we invite you to join this challenge. Your contributions could lead to breakthroughs in how we experience and understand sports broadcast. Don't miss out on being part of this exciting journey. Check our development kit in the description below and give it a try. We can't wait to see what you will be capable of achieving. Thanks, Silvio. Let's see if participants will be able to outperform last year's winner on this task. Let's continue with the third challenge, which is an upgrade of the ball action spotting task. The task will be presented by Carolina, our new collaborator from NASC. Hello, everyone. I'm Carolina from NASC Science, where we conduct research in the fields of computer science, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, cloud, comp cloud computing, and distributed networks. Today, I'm happy to introduce the Ball Action Spotting Challenge. This year, we're taking a significant step towards more comprehensive analysis of passes. Ball Action Spotting, added, added its, its core, is about accurately identifying and classifying key moments in sports. Passes are the building blocks of any game. Last year, we kept it simple with just two classes, pass and drive. It was a great start, but this year we're going more in depth. We're introducing 12 classes. That includes pass, drive, header, out, high pass, cross, throw in, shot, ball player block, player successful tackle, free kick, and the goal. What does this mean? More detail, more insights, and a whole lot more fun in analyzing the games. Let's talk about how we're measuring a success this year. Just like last time, we were using the map at one metric. It's a way to measure how accurate our spotting is. Unlike the average map used in classic uh, action spotting, Map at One demands much more precise predictions, with only a one second tolerance to spot the action. Especially during rapid sequences like passes, a mere second can make all the difference. A pass can be swift, and the action can change in a blink. Now, you might be wo wondering about the data. While we have a few recordings available for the challenge, we understand the importance of comprehensive training for your models, so you also have the entire soccer data dataset for pre-training your models. So we invite you all to join us in this challenge. Let the challenge begin. Good, Good luck. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. And finally, we kept the most challenging task for the end. This new task is the result of a collective effort of the SoccerNet team from SportRadar, UC Louvain, EVS, Kaust, and Uliège. Let me introduce our new collaborators, Abol Fazel, Victor, and Vladimir, who will be presenting this new exciting task. Hello guys, we are a team from UC Louvain. The main goal of the SoccerNet Game State Challenge is to tell at any given moment where each individual is located on the field. Computing the state of the game is important because it allows for high-level understanding of the match. For instance, it enables us to extract the detailed statistics of players, and this can be helpful for coaches and analysts to evaluate the team dynamics and improve their game plan. The SoccerNet Game State Challenge is actually a combination of four simultaneous computer vision tasks, pitch localization and camera calibration, player detection, re-identification and tracking, jersey number recognition, 
and team affiliation. For the SoccerNet Game State Challenge, participants will be provided with raw broadcast soccer games as input and they will have to output the entire game state for each video. To output the game state of a SoccerNet video, the participants actually have to provide four types of information. The 2D position of each person on the soccer pitch, the role of each person, where a role can be, for instance, referee, goalkeeper, or player, the jersey number of each player, and finally, the team of each player. More precisely, participants have to tell if the player belongs to the team on the left or on the right side of the pitch. Please keep in mind that for this first year, the ball can be ignored. For this new game state challenge, we have developed a new evaluation metric that is inspired from the HOTA metric for multi-object tracking. We will share more information about this new evaluation metric in our GitHub repository. Because this task requires you to solve a lot of different subtasks, we're helping you by releasing a baseline using TrackLab, a modular framework developed especially for researching video level tracking. If you're interested in only solving particular subtasks for the challenge, this baseline is for you. We're providing you with an end-to-end -end solution to game state prediction, including a baseline module for every task mentioned previously. But we're of course most interested in seeing your solutions to this challenging problem. So to kick it off, clone the SN game state repository, start coding, and show us what this community is really capable of. All right, that was once again a lot of great announcements. With more than 5 million annotations across now more than 10 tasks, SoccerNet is nowadays the largest and most comprehensive dataset for sports video understanding. Over the years, we've built a great research community on Discord with more than 800 members to date. So if you're not already there, join us as it is a great place to ask questions about the challenges or discuss ideas. This way, you won't just be tackling these challenges alone. Our fantastic SoccerNet community will be there to help you. Feel free to start your journey right now by checking all the links in the description below. To stay up to date on all challenge information, follow us on Discord and our social media. We'll also be announcing tutorials to help you get started on the new tasks on YouTube. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share this video with any friend or colleague who might be interested. Thank you for watching and see you next time.